Starboy starts in phase 0, which ends at 90% health, then phase 1 ends at 60%, phase 2 ends at 30%, phase 3 goes from 30% to dead. During phase 0, healers and DPS should be stacked on one side of the boss with tanks on the other side. The boss will shoot out orange orbs that will deal pretty high unavoidable damage to random players, so healers watch out for this. He'll also use Starburst on the tank repeatedly, which deals heavy arcane damage. Healers also be aware of this. Phase 1, the boss will affect its current target with a 10 second debuff called Gravitational Pull. Once the main tank gets this, the other tank should taunt off. After the 10 seconds, an Ice Comet will come down and hit the tank. No one else should be around him. This will happen 3 times. That tank will then get absolute zero, which hurts him, and is removed when 3 players stand on him. So designate 3 players to do this after the 3rd Comet comes down. Those 3 players will then get a debuff called Chilled, therefore if they come into contact with absolute zero again, they'll become frozen and have to be damaged to be broken out. Because of this, you might want to designate a second group to stand on the tank the next time to avoid anyone getting iced. Random players will also get Icy Ejection. Stand near the edge of the platform and not near anyone else. The tank should also never stack during this phase because of the Ice Burst ability he casts on his current target. On Heroic, the boss will cast Frigid Nova every minute, which deals massive damage to the raid. Stack before this cast is over to reduce damage taken. Phase 2, random players will get Fell Ejection, which will drop a green puddle on the ground. Designate one side of the room for people to drop these. They drop pretty fast so keep moving, but try dropping them close together. These puddles deal damage if stood in. When the tank gets gravitational pull this time, a fell comet will come down to damage him and anyone close to him. Once again, make sure to tank swap when the tank gets this. It lasts 5 seconds now and every comet reapplies gravitational pull up to 2 more times, so a total of 15 seconds of gravitational pull. When the comet hits the tank, it removes any green puddles he's standing on, so the tank should start off by removing any green puddles near melee before moving out. Star August will also cast fell burst on his current target, which is a stacking dot. Swap accordingly. On Heroic Star August will cast Cell Nova which deals massive damage to the raid. Everyone, including tanks, should move to the outside edge to reduce damage. Phase 3, Gravitational Pull happens every 65 seconds and is only applied once in this phase instead of 3 times. Once the tank gets it, the other tank should taunt once again. The tank with it should run out where a Void Comet will hit him and a big ad will spawn. This ad should be tanked away from the boss at all times. All DPS need to turn and kill this ad. This is usually when Hero or Bloodlust is used. The ad will cast Witness the Void. Before the cast is finished, everyone should turn their backs to the ad. If you don't, you get feared. The other tank swap mechanic is Void Burst. This does no immediate damage but does a stacking dot. When it expires, it travels to two new targets with half as many stacks as before. Tank should swap this debuff at around 6 as long as the big ad is not out. Boss will also put a heavy damage shot called Void Ejection on random players. After 8 seconds when it expires, Void Void links will spawn which a tank should pick up. These adds can easily be cleaved down. On Heroic, the boss will cast a Void Nova which just deals moderate damage to the raid and adds a stack to Void Burst. After 3 minutes in this phase, he will cast Big Bang making it a wipe.